Hi, once again it's Ed from Exotic Blanks. Tonight we're going to show you how to assemble the Junior Series pen kit. This particular one is a Junior Milton in gunmetal. They're all pretty much the same, so let's get to it. We'll assemble the kit. First thing is this piece is the nib and the center band together. You need to grab a hold of that top part and turn it. Be careful that you do not lose this. You can't lose that ring anymore. Oh, yes you can. Be careful that you don't lose that trim ring. That is on there for a reason, obviously. And this goes on the fatter end of your body piece. In this case, it's this end. If it's a roller ball, it really doesn't matter how you put it on. If it's a fountain pen, you sometimes want to make sure that you keep the fountain section so that the better part of your pen is up when you're writing. But that's, that's a fine point. You don't have to do that. Then check it. Make sure that it looks like it's going to fit right, and it does. Go to whatever device you use. I use an arbor press. And press it in, just like that. Okay, now I put the nib back on it in order to make this piece line up right. Tighten that on, not real tight, but tighten it as tight as you normally would expect to have it when you're using the pen. I did mark which side of this matches that grain. This has got red ink inside it. I don't know that you can tell that, but there was there's red marker in there. And so I then looked to see if there's a place that's an obvious match. Now this has got a nice several eyes on this side, and that appears to be where the several eyes are. There doesn't appear to be any other place. This has also got several eyes. So what I'm going to do is line up my eyes more or less. I don't want it quite straight. I want it about like yay. And that then tells me where to put this back together. Unscrew that. Be careful not to change the orientation. When you do this, it's a good idea to go about that far and then check and see if you've scraped off anything so that when you t push it together you don't leave any crud in that space. It'll show up above your your above your uh, center band I turn it around a little bit rotate it a little bit just to make sure that it's got a nice seat you can see that that's seated in there nice and there's no junk in the way okay then the next step is to put this again I do this this is not a vital step if you're if you're just making pens and you don't really care, it's your prerogative. But again, when I'm doing it, I try to line them up so that it looks like it was thought through. Your, your eyes are there, your eyes are here. It looks like you tried to set it up. Actually, the, there's also eyes on the other side. No, I think I like that better. You can see there's a little bit of a spalt line here. There's a little bit of a spalt line and that spalt line continues. I'm okay with that. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Remember, this is not the side that's supposed to match. Again, remember your trim ring. Make sure the trim ring is on there. Make sure the flat side is toward the pen. Before you clamp it together, take off the nib so that you don't ruin the nib while you're doing this. Mine is set up so I can change. If it's too long, I just take off that base and tighten it down. If you're making pens for sale, you may want to take some blue Loctite and put it here and here. People say, well, then I can't fix the pen. If anything goes wrong with it, my answer to that is, 
try not to get anything to go wrong with it by putting it together the first time so that it won't come apart. But that's all a matter of what you prefer. Okay, now we put on the put on the clip, and I think that's a good spot right there. I like the pattern. I like it when the pen will show pattern from both sides, if at all possible. And if not at all possible, then I like to try to make it so that the side that is toward the writer shows up. Again, all this is fine points. You don't have to do any of it if you don't want to. And we put that down tight. <clears throat> Once again, you need to put a refill in. Easiest way to do that is to put it through here. The um, spring is up in here. It's captive. It does not come out easily. You can grab, grab it with the pliers and pull it out if you ever need to, but there's it, you don't have to worry about it falling out once you get it to the customer. And remember that all pens have a triple start. So turn the wrong direction first until you feel it click and then turn and that's where you're going to have your approximate lineup and there you go that is your junior Milton uh, pen rollerball in this case all assembled and ready to go most of the juniors are exactly the same way the only exceptions they're the body of the pen in this case, this is smaller than this, which you knew when you did the bushings. But in the case of almost all the juniors, that is, that is the way they're built. The exception is the junior emperor and the junior Abraham. They have a straight bottom here, a straight body. Hope that helped you. This is Ed from Exotic Blanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you don't mind, and subscribe to my channel if you're so inclined. Thanks again. Bye-bye.